कृतिका नक्षत्र द नक्षत्र ऑफ सन सूर्य द नक्षत्र दैट होल्ड्स द पावर ऑफ क्रिएशन विच इज रूल्ड बाय अग्निदेव इट इज अ नक्षत्र दैट प्यूरिफाइज इट्स अ नक्षत्र दैट पेनिट्रेट्स टेक इट लाइक सोलर रेडिएशन गामा रेडिएशन दैट बिकम्स the ray of hope that becomes the ray of light it becomes it becomes us because we consume the same solar radiation in the form of food so you can say kritika is like the seed of life this is a nakshatra that represents the fight for survival this is the 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 one small opening the gateway in a dark room that guides to the path of light and that's the importance of this nakshatra which spans in two zodiac aries and taurus and mars is going to enter this nakshatra on 5th of august till 27th of august mars will be in this nakshatra of fire governed by bhagwan kartike hello seekers hare krishna welcome to punith astrology your one stop astro channel mars will be in kritika nakshatra for 22 23 days and this this martian energy which is now out of the influence of rahu will suddenly experience the passion of kritika the potential of kritika the weaponization of the force will happen and this will start making putting bringing things into action with rahu it was more of an idea it was it was more of an assumption it was more an explosive energy that was acting chaotically with kritika it will become more methodical it will have that dharmic angle to it it is a fight for justice it is a war with not without any reason but mars in kritika can also become very difficult to control try to understand mars was with rahu from this many time rahu is a kind of force which transcends a planet beyond its usual reach when mars was with rahu in fact mars is with rahu mars ambition desire to expand was crossing boundaries which we have already seen what's happening around the world but when mars leaves bharani nakshatra and goes into the nakshatra of sun mars is no longer forming angarak yog with rahu and this this energy of mars is now far more productive and is ready to act it is like a soldier which is all brainwashed and now it is ready to put his life at stake now for what cause cause is more important why are you going to take a decision in your life why are you going to say change a job why are you going to take a new branch of study why are you planning to prepare for say ies why are you planning to start a new business why are you planning to put a case on somebody all this must have proper justification as soon as on 10th of august mars enters the the taurus zodiac sign when that happens around the boundary of 10th and 11th of august mars enters the domain of earth zodiac taurus now this can on one side this can say the fight of resources fight or a war of resource but on the other hand this also mean territorial complication on a geopolitical scenarios will increase and for a on a, for a for a man for a day to day activity this means that you will be more focused on trying to set everything in your life right 
focusing on the essentials and trying to secure them as much as possible. So it's a transit that will trigger a sense of security in everyone's mind. How it will pan out will definitely depend on which part of the world you are in and what kind of life you are experiencing, plus your own horoscope. But there will be a common theme. Mars is also the army. Mars is the courage to fight. And with Kritika, there will be a belief that what you are doing is right. And that belief should be justified as per dharma. Dharma is the path of righteousness, something that is good for everyone. This Mars is just out of Rahu's influence. This Mars can make you believe that you have the capacity, you have the ability and it can push you to act. Be very, very mindful of your actions and wait until Mars reaches a cert at least 3 to 4 degrees of Taurus before actually putting things into action. Yes, if you have already thought of everything, if you have planned everything, if you have been, you know, you can justify your action in the right way, then this is the great time to put your thoughts to action. It's a very good time for people involved in engineering sector, real estate sector, people involved in FMCG goods, people who are involved in defense sector. You will see that suddenly this Mars is going to give this great boost. A lot of people will have hope in their heart and you will see that procrastination will go away and action will begin. Rahu isn't going to move from Aries zodiac sign from for a very long time. That's not going to happen. So Rahu will definitely have an indirect impact on Mars. But what else can happen? The importance of Venus because Taurus is controlled by Shukra. This is also the zodiac where Mars will become retrograde in October. So this is a very long transit in the zodiac sign of Taurus. I will upload another video on Mars transit in Taurus as well as a retrograde Mars. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. Reels and interesting stuff is also uploaded on my Instagram and Facebook. So please follow me there. Also for consultations, you can drop me an email. Now, when you talk about Kritika energy, it is also the fire. So take care of the fire hazards in your house. Take care of, of anger, inflammation inside the body. Don't eat anything and don't speak anything that can cause inflammation in society, inflammation in your body, inflammation in your family. A sudden reaction, a sudden commitment and you will be caught in the trap. Never forget that when Mars is in the sign of Taurus, Mars will be in trine with retrograde Saturn. Saturn will be ninth from this Mars. So Dharma of the Mangal, Mars, is in the hands of Shani. Praying to Bhagwan Hanuman, chanting Hanuman Chalisa at least three times every day, reading Sundarkand, this is some of the ways by which you can manifest this energy and put it into proper use. Yoga, taking control of your physical self, making you more healthier, living a more healthier lifestyle. Because Mars is Bhumi, Earth element and we are made by the Earth and Water element. So Mars and Saturn will change the equation and constituents of the body and whatever you eat is what you become. That's a natural thing, right? So eat right, because that's will, that will affect your thought process. Whenever moon will be with Rahu, on those days don't take any initiatives, because there is a very high chance that you might commit a mistake. Praying to Bhagwan Subramanyam Swami is also one of the way, because praying to Bhagwan Kartikeya is a great way to to reduce the war within life. This is like Antardvand, an internal war, internal battle. And people who have Taurus in the 
sixth house, which is Sagittarius ascendant, will see Dharma Yudh happening in their life. So there is no point being too aggressive in your mindset. See, this is not the time to be aggressive. This is the time to be watchful. This is the time to utilize the force for victory. Just because Mars is weaponized here does not mean it is sure to kill. No. It is the engineering capacity, the power to build. Because that also need fuel, that also need energy, that will also need a lot of you know, pressure, manpower. So that is where Mars can be put to great use. If you want to buy real estate, if you want to buy property, well, you can. Provided your horoscope allows. But you also have to see that there should not be any fire related complication in the building. There should not be any constructional, uh, you can say, damage. So observe all those activity. Also, if you observe that Kritika has this tendency to sometimes go overboard. It can you know, cross the limit. Mars, which is under the influence of Rahu, might believe that actually crossing the limit is the right thing. Don't do that. Use the power of Jupiter. Because if you observe, Jupiter will be 11th from this Mars. While Jupiter is 11th from the Mars, 5th from the Mars is aspected by that Jupiter. What will happen? You will desire something. You will work towards it. Once you get it, you will realize that what you desire was actually not good for you. And now you regret. So you may have to realign your desire, focus more on dharma. I will say, unlearn and relearn what is right and what is wrong. Maybe you are wrong. Maybe you are right. Mars is highly masculine force. It's a highly competitive force. The competition throughout the world will increase. For some areas, it will be survival of the fittest. But for some other areas, it is like, who is going to support whom? India as a nation will see tremendous amount of reforms and transformation during this Martian transit. Kritika is no small nakshatra. It is a nakshatra that spans itself in the first and the second zodiac of Kal Purush. Now, on a day-to-day -day activity, whenever you will encounter anger, you have to control that anger, not by suppressing it, but by releasing it. And how can you release? Doing some constructive activity. Immediately start cleaning your house. Do something that spend the physical force, physical energy. Write gibberish on piece of paper. Throw your anger, but not to a person, but to say, record a video, speak something, talk to a counselor, talk to an astrologer, talk to a very good friend. But don't throw your anger to somebody. Because Mars is affecting everyone. You don't know how Mars is treating the other person. People who are born with exalt Mars, Mars on Lagna, Taurus Ascendant, Aries Ascendant, Sagittarius Ascendant, Leo Ascendant will be affected by these energies because they are most, mostly fire zodiac sign. The next most affected will be the earth zodiac sign. Because Mars, Saturn and then Virgo gets affected because of this. If you are born with a combination of fire lagna, earth moon sign or earth lagna, fire moon sign, you can actually use this because Mars is affecting both angles, physical and mental. So use that Mars to come out of the problem and give yourself that opportunity because now you're full of energy. So you must only observe what is your hope? Who is the reason of that hope? If the reason is correct, if the source is correct, then you will see a very good time. But if you just want to run away from responsibility, then it might not work. Mars is also discipline. See, Mars is not a ruler. Mars is a follower. But who wants to rule through Mars? 
will always face the wrath of Saturn. It's what are you going to, what are you trying to rule? But if you're trying to be disciplined, if it is defensive, then planets will support you. This is a great time to take well-planned and well-thought-of initiatives with backup plan. If you have water ascendant, then you must be slightly careful because water ascendant are the ascendant where Mars behaves weirdly. On one water zodiac sign, Mars becomes debilitated, Cancer. On the other water zodiac sign, Scorpio, Mars becomes Swagrahi. And there is another water zodiac sign, Pisces, where there is a retrograde Jupiter. So there can be a lot of emotional turbulence. Emotionally, you will be charged up and you won't know what to do with it. If you get so overwhelmed, keep yourself busy. Keep yourself occupied with small tasks. Give yourself small goals and try to achieve them. Once you do that, you will have the sense of accomplishment. Always say to yourself that you are positive and you can do it. There will be emotional triggers, but then every time you cannot control every single trigger, but you can control your response to the trigger. Immediately start chanting Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, or simply Om Namah Shivai, because mind needs something to rely upon, otherwise it will be ready to fight. It is like a mass that is charged to prove a point. Mass that is charged to hit you. It is like a boxer who is ready to box in the ring. If the opponent is big enough, you won't be able to win. So this Mars is unable to think whether he will win or not. He will just move. He will just fight. Because Saturn is retrograde. There is a weird sense of Dharma in the mind of Mars. You must be watchful of your action at every single step. Once action is materialized, it's out in the world, you will have to face the consequence. The best way to handle is Karman Neva Dikaraste Ma Falesho Kadachana. Reading Bhagavad Gita. Walking barefoot in the morning on, a, on grass. Doing grounding meditation. You know, you can buy rose quartz crystal and keep it with you. See the world with loving eyes. Shower love. Counter Mars with feminine force because Venus is feminine security. And Mars is that masculine force. You can counter it. And for air zodiac sign, which is mostly Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. See, for you, if I have to say, apart from Libra, Gemini and Aquarius will see turbulent time. Because when Mars gets heated up, it very silently affects air zodiac. Libra uh, is an exception because Venus can control both Libra and Taurus. But if I have to see on the other hand, if one zodiac of Venus is getting affected by Mars, the other will be. So air zodiac signs should be extremely watchful of their action because they might execute something. Everything is right. Things are good. Everything is fine. And suddenly you execute something and a mistake. Watch out for your silly mistakes and never do anything in hurry. Because if you try to do anything in hurry, you can be in trouble. The extended version of this will be on my Patreon channel, which is nothing but couple of more hard points about Mars transit. So do subscribe me on my Patreon channel, which also supports me to run the Punix Astrology, YouTube and other channels. Also sub follow me on my Instagram, YouTube and keep subscribing, keep loving. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, this is your host Puneet. Namaste.